How's it going everybody? Raising Hell here and welcome back to our playthrough of the military campaign for Stronghold 3. Today we're on mission number 10, Vermin's Nest. They failed. They told me that it wasn't their fault. That they tried, but that his armies were too strong. I told them that I didn't know about any armies in the north. So they described them to me. Described him. The one leading them all. The boy. I told them to get back there, to take those territories, to take him and to bring him to me. I told them what would happen if they failed. If they failed this, I told them, they should not bother coming back. But I wanted the north, and I wanted that forge, the marshlands, the sultan's trade routes, and more than anything, I wanted him. The rebuilding of the northern army continues with the aid of your new allies. Someone, however, seems to have other plans for you. It seems as if all three rats have returned to their castles with their tails firmly between their legs. Their strongholds lie close to your camp, which will quickly need to be turned into a mighty castle. Okay, so as you can see here, to win we need to capture the three rats' castles. Um, we have a countdown timer and as you can see if we switch over here to the hard difficulty, it reduces the amount of time we have by about 33%. But we're going to be playing it on hard. Let's see how this goes. Place your stockpile, my lord. Oh my goodness, we're in it already. The stockpile. Uh, let's let's put it over right here. And put the granary kind of close-ish, I think. Yeah. Wait, we could put the granary way way up there. That would be nice, wouldn't it? I don't know. Let's put a granary there. Uh, let's get a couple of apple farmers up and going here. And we're going to need a couple wood camps, at least two, probably three. Let's put a wood camp there. Uh, probably going to need more housing. We are in the middle of enemy territory here, sire. May I suggest that we get our troops stationed quickly? Square tower. Be before those rats notice our presence and send out troops to test our resolve. Okay, now let's put a tower there. Let's get some walls. Like that. And like that. Let's see if we got some archers here. Yeah, let's get some archers up in this tower. What? Why can't I get up there? Oh, because it doesn't have a stairs. Okay. Here we go. Let's get some stairs. What? 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 Why is this happening to me? Why can't I put the stairs down? <laughs> okay. I think we got the stairs down. Let's get the archers up there now. <laughs> Uh, let's get some stone up and going here. And we can get some dairy farms set up as well. Should we do some pig farms? Yeah, let's do some pig farms. It's a bit expensive to start at the beginning, but I think we'll be a good investment in the long run. Let's get some wheat farms there. Uh, a couple of hot farms somewhere, wherever it can fit them. I think we're going to need more housing. And probably even more housing, to be honest. So, there. Okay, in terms of the stockpile... Oh, wait. We should probably do something about this area over here to make sure they can't get inside my castle. Um, what do we have in terms of... Okay, we got a hunter post. We don't need that immediately. We don't need the honor from that. Uh, we, we do have a church, so we probably should set up some chandler's workshops there. And I would also... Where's my... Armory. Where's where's the enemy attacking from? Okay, they're attacking from down here. That's fine. We've got a wall there. Uh, let's get the armory built. Let's get a couple of Fletchers up and running there. And we don't have any wood left. Okay, I guess we're just going to have to wait for our woodcutters to finish bringing home the bacon. Or the wood, in this case. There's some archers there. And, like I said before, uh, I think these archers here are okay. I wanted to build a wall over here. I'm not exactly sure how to go about doing this. I want to build a wall that sort of blocks this area off. But I don't think it's that... Can I? No, I can't do that. So I'd have to actually start from this tower. Or I could put in something like a small bastion. Can I do that here? Like, where, where exactly... I'm not... Okay, I guess I can put a small bastion there. And... The what? Damn. I can't believe it. Now the enemy are attacking from down here. Okey doke. Let's see. 
Let's see how this goes. Uh, I'm going to put the men at arms there. I suppose one thing that I could do instead here is uh, try to do something like that. So the problem, the problem that I, the mistake I made here, and it was a really bad mistake. Apparently, I needed to rotate the bastion the other way. Let's fill that in. So this is the smallest one, we are under attack. and it needs to be like that, not the other way around. See, now I can connect it. Unfortunately, that's a little bit little. That's too little too late, basically. <laughs> Do we have a barracks? We don't even have a barracks place. Hot damn. So, uh, we're going to need some ox tethers over here. Let's start with four. We're going to need um, a quarry or an iron mine. Where are all these guys attacking me from? That thing looks okay so far. Charge. So let's go ahead and get a tower ballista up here. I don't know how well that will work, but we're going to try it anyway. Got eight archers there. Let's see if we can get them up in this tower. Oh, how, how long before we get some stone? They should be collecting it pretty soon. We need a barracks. I forgot about building a barracks. Quite embarrassingly so. Uh, let's get some bakeries going over here, I suppose. Uh, we also need a mill. Wow. There is a ton of stuff I need to build, and I probably don't have the wood or uh, the peasants for it. So I said, they were said that we were attacking, being attacked here. I guess right here are the, there's the attack. Yeah, so when it comes to actually building walls in this game, it's, it's different from the other Stronghold games, and you need to use these small bastions to make it work properly anyway. Okay. I really need that stone. Is the stone? Is the stone here? I think I think we got stone. Um, yep, we got enough stone now. Okay, let's see where we can put this barracks. I mean, that's another problem. There we go. Uh, let's get the let's put the archers on the keep by default. I'll put the men at arms in the barracks. The macemen over there, as well as the pikemen. Okay. Do we have any peasants? Or I think we're maxed out. Yeah. I don't think we have any free peasants. Let's see here. Isn't there an easy way to see this? I thought there was. Oh yeah, right there it is. We don't have any peasants available. Okay, we need another house. More housing needed, Saya. How how is our? Okay, we need to turn ale off. We don't. We're not making enough of that. How about our candles? Daily production eight. Daily consumption five. Excellent. So we seem to be meeting the demand right there. Uh, when it comes to honor, how are we looking here? Do a little bit of feasting there. I think what I'm going to do here is delete the hunter's post and let's see here. Move it inside the castle right there. As well as start a sheep farm over here so we can start making some clothing. Where's a nice place to put this? I do want it out of the way a bit. There we go. It fits there. Uh, another hovel. I think we need another hovel. How about now? We got some peasants? Yeah, we do. Okay, there are three archers there. It's a bit slow. It's a bit slow, I will admit, but at least we're finally getting around to it. I need some brewers to make ale, but I don't have enough wood. That always sucks. I have a lot of stone over here. Maybe I should actually put down another tether. And I'm not talking about the cryptocurrency. Okay, so where can we put this wall? And don't attack me. Where are the outlaws, by the way? They don't see them. Made it sound like it was. Oh, there they are. And hey, let's put them on the keep, I suppose. No, maybe we shouldn't, because we're putting archers on top of the keep. Oh my goodness! I forget about that. That is so annoying when it happens. Yeah, it doesn't work like it did in Stronghold 2. Okay, we got enough wood here. Let's go ahead and build some brewers. Let's see where we can put these two there. Uh, how about barracks? Seven. Yeah, okay, we probably do need more peasants. Or, I mean, like, like more... No, I still don't have enough wood. Really, it really bums me out that I don't have enough wood all the time. I should build more... Build more wood camps, I suppose. There we go. Otherwise, it's going to take me too long to finish this mission, isn't it? We do need uh, to do a lot of recruiting. Uh, oh, yeah. What did it? yeah, yeah. Okay, go yeah, over there. The uh, let's 
go with the gatehouse. Where's the gatehouse at? Here we go. I want a gatehouse here. By the way, for those for those who might have been yelling angrily at me when it came to how badly I botched up the gatehouse thing, there's actually no problem with the gatehouses. It's just you have to right click on them to open them up. So that was the problem that I was having. By default, the gatehouse comes closed. I don't know why it doesn't automatically open up, but it doesn't. So that was the problem I was running into, and that's the solution for it. For whatever it's worth, I'm sorry, Firefly, but I mean, what did you expect me to say when everything leading up to this point led me to believe that you could click on a gatehouse and there'd be a panel that would allow you to open and close it, or the gatehouse would just automatically open and close? I mean... I don't think it's actually that unreasonable for me to expect it to follow convention or at least inform me when convention is not being followed. So I guess that's the, the fi my final wor word on the subject. We need a tailor's workshop once again. Don't have enough wood. Yeah, the drawing distance isn't the greatest on Stronghold 3 either. Like, I have, feel a need to just zoom way out, and I suppose it makes it difficult for the viewer to really see what's going on. So I'll try to stay zoomed in a little bit more, okay? Let's do a couple more Fletcher's workshops. I would like to start making some macemen, maybe even some pikemen. And it's pretty easy to make macemen in Stronghold 3. You don't actually need leather armor. How is our ale production looking? We've got 12, we got 56 candles. We can actually turn on ale them. Um, also Increasing taxes by a little bit here, I think. Actually, maybe I shouldn't. We do need more population. Uh, we're currently a little bit low there, so I'd rather have rather have them getting here uh, more peasants quicker rather than more gold at the moment. Anyway, we got plenty of iron coming in. Yeah, we just need wood. I probably should have started with four workers in the past. Three has been enough, but yeah, it looks like going forward, probably going to need four. Uh, how are we doing in terms of food? A little bit low on bread. We've got a lot of uh, a lot of wool. We got some flour, so I'm going to build another bakery. Oh, right. Hmm. Right there. And we still don't have enough for that tailor's workshop. How is the stone? The stone is doing pretty good. Maybe I actually can reduce the number of quarries I have. I don't think I need that much stone. The castle's already completed, right? Yeah. Let's do that. There we go. I'm deleting one of the quarries. We can allocate those peasants elsewhere. So we have one, one blacksmith up. Oh, we got 12 peasants available. I want to do another forge here. Make, make more macemen. And... The rat's attacks are pretty weak as per usual. Nothing really to worry about. It's mostly being able to build up enough units uh, or a big enough army to take his castles in time. Like, we're about 25% done already. Uh, Taylor's Workshop finally got that built. So we will start having better banquets. There we go. For more honor. We have quite a bit of honor at the moment, so it's not a huge deal. Uh, we probably should build another brewer, though. This isn't an exact science with me, okay? I'm just playing it by ear. Okay, so the enemy is attacking there again. Uh, at this point, it would be nice to actually start sort of building up a siege force. I think we have the gold for it. Maybe not. We have 860. Maybe I should focus on building... Uh, weapons workshops instead. Uh, should I go for two? I think I'm going to go with uh, the armors and the pole turners. Wait, is this the... Yeah, the, okay, that is the pole turners workshop. It's for building pikes. I think we want a few pikemen at least to soak up some of the archer damage. So this is a really funky wall, but they don't seem to be able to get through it. So I guess... Wait, I did. I did it again. Sorry. We are under attack. Can I get through here? I don't think so. So yeah, I think we are safe. Okay, these men of the arms coming over there. Oh, we got a catapult and it is destroyed. Okay. 
Is that wall repaired now? I don't think so. Here we go. What exactly? Oh, it's the stairs. Stairs aren't repaired. There we go. Just hammer all that back into shape. And let me take a look here at the stockpile. We do have a lot of stone. Let's sell that. How is our candle production doing? Uh, yeah, we could probably use another one. Daily drunk is 14 and 20. So if we're making enough hops, we are. Uh, then we just need another Chandler's workshop, I suppose. And I'm just going to stick it right over there by the woods. And then I guess it really comes down to uh, the amount of gold that we have. So I did build, I started building pikemen there. I wanted to build, I think, a couple more Fletcher's workshops here. And then maybe we'll also do a pole turner's workshop. If I can fit one in here somewhere. Right there, I guess. So, I think the first one that we should take out here, I'm just looking around, maybe this rat. I, I, he doesn't seem to be a huge, like, this looks like it's pretty easy to take out, right? And then we'll probably move on to this one, and then take the one out over here on the left last, because I think we have, you know, this is pretty much in hand, right? There's not a pressing need. I think we're going to have to turn up taxes a bit. Go selling goods in Stronghold 3 was nowhere near as productive as it was, or as uh, profitable as it was in former games, from my experience. I haven't, like, actually knocked out any numbers on it, obviously, but just a general sense of what is happening there. Okay, so one thing that we can do here is turn up our uh, food rations like that. The downside is that it's going to be consuming more, so we actually might need... Another apple farm. I think we have enough dairy farms. Let me see here. Um, actually, we didn't really need the apple farm. We needed another pig farm. So pig farms don't really seem... They're, they're very expensive, but they don't seem much more productive than apple and dairy farms. And then, of course, you know, we have our bread problem, I guess you could call it. Uh, we're making enough wheat at the moment to support at least another bakery, though. Let's find a place for that. Now I'm running into the problem of not enough peasants. I think what I'm going to do here is delete one of those uh, woodcutter camps. The iron is doing fine. Yeah, so at this point, I'm basically just waiting for units. There's 61 archers there. That's quite a few. I think we're ready, pretty almost ready to begin an assault. Maybe, maybe I would like some pikemen. Because it's like when I'm approaching the wall here, for example, we can use the pikemen to sort of tank some uh, archer damage. And we, we don't have many pikes available to us, actually. Wait, so what is it? it's producing more pikes than it is metal armor. So let's, uh, let's build another armorer's workshop to sort of balance that out, I suppose. Right there. Yeah, so if we're going to go with this side first, maybe I should redo this wall and put a gatehouse in. I'm not sure. I don't think a gatehouse would fit. Like, where would I put the gatehouse here? And I would actually... Maybe I could put it along this wall? Nope, apparently not. Uh, so as soon as those enemies there are gone, what I think I'm going to do is just delete this wall here and then re... You know, put something else that I would prefer up. I know we don't have a lot of stone at the moment. I mean, more stone is coming in. Can we sell some of this wool? Yeah. We are making some nice gold, though, but we need to hurry this along. Just as soon as this is all, all over with, like, uh, maybe I should just put some more archers in the walls here, but I want to delete this wall and put a gatehouse in. Maybe I'll station... Yeah, maybe that's what I can do. I'll just delete the tower, put a gatehouse there, and station the archers on the gatehouse. Let's do that. So let's get the archers off of there. At least I don't have any pikemen available to us. Why is that archer... Oh! Oh, we have this classic Stronghold 3 problem of units stuck in buildings. There, there he goes. So if you don't remove the units from the buildings, they'll actually die when you delete said building. Uh, delete the stairs, delete that piece of wall there. And I guess I don't know. I don't know. 
how can I put, get this stuck in here where everybody's happy, I guess? Like that. There we go. We are your men. Let's get some of these other archers up there as well. And let's open the gatehouse. Yeah, so it's nice now that I actually know how to open the gatehouse, isn't it? You do have quite a few maces, which is nice. Uh, we're going to use those as shock troops, basically. And uh, yeah, I think this is the first... Like, as soon as this attack here is over, I would like to launch a counterattack. I'm not even sure that I'm going to need siege equipment, to be honest. Peasants needed. Sire. Peasants needed. Is warm you, uh, I probably should build a siege camp anyway, just in case I do need siege equipment. I mean, it is a little bit expensive. It's like 500 gold. Uh, there we go. We have battering rams and catapults available to us. Should we bring in along? Maybe, yeah, maybe we should just bring along one catapult. Um, I don't see a reason really to bring a battering ram. I mean, we could knock down the gatehouse instead, but I think... I don't know. It's a good question. Okay. Uh, we're going to bring a, a catapult along. So there's a catapult. And let's move it over here. We do have... What we do need... Oh, wait. Too bad I have so little gold now. I was going to say, what we do need is actually more uh, peasants to recruit. We do have a lot of wood, though. So uh, what I'm going to do is actually delete another wood camp there. I know I'm building a lot of macemen at the moment. Or are they all? Okay. 30 here. It's not what I... Not what I really intended to do, even though I do it. I wonder how long it's going to take him to... Oh, there. Right there is the attack. Apparently, here are the catapults. Do we actually need, like, another tower there? Oh, they seem to be within range. We do have a lot of archers, though, so we should try to continue recruiting those. Uh, yeah. That was probably not the best. Okay, it looks like all the archers are down. How about pikemen? I know I'm not making a lot of pike. Wait. Why? Do I not have enough gold? Oh, not enough peasants. Okay, so where are my pikemen at? I guess we're bringing the men at arms along. Okay, there's the pikemen. Oh, I've got three pikemen. Ah, that's better than none. Oh, wait. Two more. i got two more pikemen. Come on. Come yeah, on. There we go. And after that, more archers. We really need more. Okay, I'm going to turn down taxes entirely. Or turn them off. Now we should be getting a lot more troops. Okay. How is... Okay. Oh, as a matter of fact, we are out of food. Oops. I guess we're turning it down to one quarter. Probably should have paid better attention to that. How about now? Yeah, okay. I think we're, we'll do okay. I'll turn it back up when I have a little bit more food in reserves. So, we have Macemen there. We have our Catapult. We get our Archers. 51 should be enough. A couple more Pikemen. And we're ready to begin our first assault. I think, anyway. What does he have here, by the way? I think these are uh, men-at-arms, a couple pikemen. Yeah, it's uh, it's all pretty good. We'll send in our pikemen first here. Wait. Actually, we're under attack from this side. So... Yeah, okay. They're attacking, all right. How the hell do they have such ridiculously long range? Take a look at this. They can shoot my units way over here. My archers can't hit them off of a gatehouse. It's ridiculous. Like, I mean, how does that make any sense? Look, they're not doing anything. And these guys are shooting units that are all the way over here. Unbelievable. I mean, it just annoys the hell out of me. How are they doing that? My guys, nothing. But you know, the, the units that are twice the distance away? Yeah, we can snipe them. That makes complete sense. Sorry. I guess that's what people talk about when they say Stronghold 3 is buggy. Because that really is starting to grind my gears. That archers can just mow down an entire army from half the map away. Just like they could in the original 
Stronghold, which was something that bothered me about that game, but it wasn't nearly as bad because usually you could control it, more or less. Oh, now, now my archers can shoot. Brilliant. Well, it's too late for that. Compensation prizes are not being handed out here. Okay. I think our food situation is back under control, so I'm turning the rations back up to normal. And that joke of an attack is over, so let's actually send our units. Oh great, we're having frame rate issues now. Yeah, so I'm still, this is a little bit new for me. Uh, I'm actually using a G-Sync monitor, first time ever. So we'll see how that goes. The native resolution of it for me is 1440, but for the recording, it's going to be downscaling it to 1080p. How is our reserves here of ale and candles? Oh, more than enough. Let's turn both of those up. Get some more art, uh, peasants in here more quickly. More than enough honor. Okay, we're going to send the pikemen to engage first. And let's see here. Get the macemen off to the one side as well. Something like that. I think. So as you can see here, yes, pikemen are going first. Then I'm going to send in men at arms. As the pikemen get near, I think I'm going to go ahead and rush in my macemen. So that way they can quickly deal with the whole problem. Then we'll bring up our catapult behind that. Okay. I'm gonna bring up the archers now. There are the macemen, engaging as I wanted. Providing a little bit of cover here for my archers to get within range, hopefully. Let's move those forward. And that is one of those great uses for a smartwatch, I suppose. How are you doing here? Okay, everybody move back. Get the catapult there. We're going to start shooting at the wall. Oh my god. I made mistakes. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. Which way are we under attack from? So you might notice all these archers all of a sudden. Yeah, that's because it doesn't... Double clicking doesn't work how you would probably think it would work, unfortunately. Uh, catapult. Can you shoot at this? There we go. Wait, the enemy are attacking through here? That was fast. Can barely catch a breather at this point. So, one of the problems is that they're going to snipe me from the screen away, aren't they? I should, you know, I should just stand here and take it, to be honest. Enough of this nonsense. I need to die with dignity. Hey, hey. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Get those wretched archers. Get them all. And I'm also going to send my pikemen in here to tear that wall down. As quickly as possible. Okay, so we had the whole problem with the archers over here. Let's get some of those back on the gatehouse. Yeah. It cost our macemen quite dearly. Maybe I should have uh, built more catapults. It's a lot of enemies attacking, my dude. Are you sure about that? Wait, wait, wait. On second thought, get the macemen out of there. I know the catapults, and they will probably damage the macemen. At least more significantly than they would the pikemen. Macemen, stay here. Well, that's the really ironic thing. Is it seems like units, or especially archers, on the ground seem to have better range than their counterparts on walls. How does that work? Is that catapult still firing? No, okay. Let's get that stuff. Ah, uh, we'll be curious to see how this plays out. I suppose the upside with the archers is that they're really dumb. Look at that. They walk up the stairs, decide they don't want to walk up the stairs, and they walk back down the stairs. And then they walk back up the stairs again. Because reasons. Reasons are the best reason to do anything at this point. 
Oh, look. We have a siege camp here. Hey, hey, guys. Oh, you destroyed it already? Okay. That's nice. Get in there. Get get those archers on top of that uh, that building there. It's a keep, I guess, but who knows. Finally, we're getting some more productivity here. Not productivity, popularity. Have we captured this place yet? Can we capture it? Yeah. Hey guys, can we, uh, yeah, okay, it's being captured. There we go. Okay, one down, we're about halfway done, so. Could be better, could be worse. Uh, can I put this thing anywhere? I can sure as hell put it there, can't I? That's, you know, that just doesn't make any sense, man. Come on. Are you telling me I can't connect the wall if it's too small? Okay, with one down, I don't think they're actually going to take it back. Uh, our next focus will be on the rat over here. Should be e easier? I don't know if it'll be easier. Shouldn't be much harder, that's for sure. We won't have to be dodging these attacks the whole time. Right? And we've got plenty of replacement archers here. Uh, our big problem at this point is going to be macemen. We didn't build many macemen. Okay, looks like that attack there is over. As soon as these troops get back, right, we're going to get them... Wait, what are these? Oh, those are the outlaws. I am interested to know where my pikemen are. My dirty pikemen, okay. Pikemen are going to be on the front of this attack. Any other ones? Yeah, we got like 14 pikemen now, I suppose. And then we're going to start recruiting more macemen. Yes, I was going to make an interesting point about um, a smartwatch that I bought during the whole Black Friday thing. There was a decent deal on one. And I was just interested to see what it would be like, right? It's one of the ways I can justify what would otherwise seem like superfluous purchases. Because, you know, there is value in experience and you can't expect to experience everything for free. Uh, and one of the really unique things is that if uh, somebody calls, for example, or you have an alarm set, uh, you can easily mute it just with the smartwatch, which is something that I've had to deal with before just by running over to my phone. Because my phone's not at my desk, right? It's on my nightstand most of the time when it's charging. So by default, it's not easily accessible to me. And I know I could change that by putting it on my desk, but... This is a nice alternative instead, but it's one of those things that you don't really consider initially. Like when you, I guess when you first go into or decide to make a purchase, it's not something that I immediately considered, right? So that's always something. Yep, yep, yep. We got about half the time left. Let's get these pikemen moving. Uh, I think we could actually use more catapults in this one. You'll see. Uh, otherwise, I might just have them hack the walls down. Problem is, you know, catapults and... Uh, well, yeah, when you start moving troops, that really does start pulling frames from the game. No question about it. Seems to be one of the greatest performance issues is pathfinding uh, units. Seems to just bog the game down. Uh, the catapult's still quite a ways away. Yeah, just have these guys attack the walls. And we're going to bring up these archers. So maybe this wasn't as big a concern as I thought. Maybe what I should have actually done is just strung a wall from here to there. Because as it turns out, technically they could walk through here. But it seems like most of the time they just walked along this area to get to my castle. So it didn't turn out being as big an issue as I thought it might. Yeah, looks like we got most of those out of the way. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be using the catapults. I mean, if we had more catapults, it would be useful. But they take so long to move. They don't deal much damage. They're slow at firing. And I can just tear the walls down with my pikemen at this point. Which makes you wonder why. Why would I bother? Why would I bother with the catapults? Okay, it looks like everybody can get through here now. Let's have the pikemen... Okay, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
We have a gatehouse over there. Let's take that out first. Yes. Wait, wait. Guys, come back, come back. Are we out of maces now? No, we're out of honor. Here we go. Keep. Now, we should be able to recruit uh, macemen. We do need a bit more gold. I'm going to turn up taxes slightly here. Uh, how is the food stocks holding up? I think we can turn up rations there for a little bit. I might just go for additional taxes. Make a little bit of extra gold. Okay. With that all out of the way, I'm going to have the pikemen take over this. Well, I mean, should I? Maybe I don't. Wait, wait. Stop, guys. Let's just knock a hole in this wall here. Like that, I suppose. So what I'm also going to do... Oh, we can't really afford another siege camp. And we can barely afford another catapult at this point. Where am I? Pi uh, okay, here we go. We have more macemen. 21. I think what we're going to do is have them rush the keep or the gatehouse there. There's just some archers in it, so I think we should be easily able to rush it. There we go. We should be able to rush it before they deal much damage to me. We are under attack. I mean, look at the catapult. It's like halfway down, though. Not the catapult. Um. Wow. There are more archers on there than I thought. The wall is like halfway down with the catapult, and... It's taking quite a bit of time. Yeah, look at all those macemen die. Oh my god. What what is it with them on walls? I don't understand it. And once more our peasants mutter witchcraft. They are deeply troubled. How what an opportune moment to get that event, huh? Just when I was trying to raise some taxes. So when it seems like you tell units to get on a wall, one of the common problems that they have is Wait, why, where is this guy going? They, they they seem to pathfind up the wall just fine. Decide they don't like that. Walk back down the stairs and then do it all over again. This happened twice in just this mission. Okay, we got our other macemen over here. We're going to take out that tower. We're going to send in our pikemen first. Okay, catapult. Stop, stop firing. Um, hmm. So our macemen should be back now. Alright, let's get our macemen in there. And we get our archers in there as well. We do have a lot of archers here, so let's bring those in. So archers are like third in line for when it comes to what I recruit. But that was a nice little uh, flavor event right there, wasn't it? Let's see if we can get these archers in the towers. Got some trouble. Got some trouble. Oh look, they can't figure out how to go upstairs again. What? What the hell? I couldn't get him in the tower, of all things. I mean, this is a costly battle, but I think it's pretty clear we're gonna win it. Losing a lot of macemen there. Seems like without the leather armor, macemen are significantly weaker. Which would make sense. Where are they attacking? Okay, it's our, the last rat. As soon as we capture this, I'm going to be focusing on that dude. We have enough gold, I suppose. Let's turn this down. Turn the food down. Turn the ale down. It seems like we're running out of ale as well. Wait, wait. Guys, do you mind mace, maces? Do you think you could get actually get up on top of the keep? It would be nice if you could get up on top of the keep. Look at these guys. Look at these. I mean, what are they doing? What are they, are they telling me they can't get up on top of the keep? It doesn't make any sense. Get up on top of the keep. Who knows? They can't shoot the archer, apparently, either. Okay, I think they shot him now. Wow. Well, it worked anyway. So. 
Can't complain too much about it. It would be interesting, though, when the, the missions get harder to see if uh, bugs like that are what's going to cause me to fail missions. Because, obviously, while you can take steps to prevent stuff like that from happening, uh, it, it becomes a lot easier to blame the game when uh, like a, such apparent bugs manifest themselves. Wait, what? You can't go. You can't go through the gate. Okay, they can go through the gate. Yeah, so we're down, down to one rat over here. He doesn't have any siege equipment up there, but there is a, an extra tower. So as soon as our troops get there, as soon as our troops get over here, we are your men. We'll begin. Let's get those archers out the gatehouse as well. We don't need them there anymore. Do I have any more pikemen? Yeah, we got a few more pikemen in Mason. Not a lot, but it's better than nothing. Should we just, I think we should just approach the wall from about over here. Forget about this whole area. Uh, we'll hit it like right about here. Yeah. Okay. So... I've pointed out before that we have different kind of bastions here, and they do different things. Like, this one has only one direction you can connect to it. Uh, this one has, like, six directions you can connect. This one has four. This one has four, but it's, like, really solid, I guess. I haven't done a whole lot of analysis of those, but from what I've seen, that seems to be the case. Okay, I'm going to send the bowmen in first. I'm going to have them take out the archers in that tower. Wait, should we do that? Maybe we should send the pikemen in first. Here we go. Pikemen first. Let's tank some of that damage. Your command, sir. Your command, sir. Peasants needed, sire. Yeah. All of a sudden, I have, a, I have this tickle in my throat, which makes it really hard not to perform an unproductive cough. So if I sound a little bit wheezy, I suppose that might explain it. Marching boots, lads. Well, let's go. See now, if those archers, they would have, if those archers were on ground, they would have started sniping these pikemen when they were probably over here, because reasons. It makes, it's logically consistent that being on top of a tower means you have less range than if you were standing in an open field, apparently. And it's one of those things I really hadn't thought about before or noticed, really. Use your blades, lads. I wonder if these archers will be able to take out the archers in the tower. Nope. Gotta hug the tower for that, apparently. Tower hugging engaged. Let's see how this goes. Oh yeah, now we can take them out. So I said we were going to go through the walls and this area. Let's go ahead and try to get this done. We'll, we'll take it with archers and pikemen. There's some men at arms there. Let's just grab all these mason as well. Those those are always fun, aren't they? The archers on top. It would be nice if we actually had some laddermen in Stronghold Three. Did they actually add laddermen? I don't remember. I remember it was a big issue back in the day when it first came out. People were like, "What? No laddermen?" But then they kind of locked it back or something. But I, I guess not. I don't think there are any laddermen in Stronghold Three. Which in some ways is okay, because you might recall me talking about Stronghold 2 and say, well, you didn't like the Laddermen in Stronghold 2, you said they were annoying. And for the Laddermen in Stronghold 2, like, the issue I had with them was how spammy the AI was with them. Where basically, even though they had lost a siege, they would still continue to spam out tons and tons of these Laddermen. They, and if they had already breached walls, well, still, they would continue sp uh, spamming Laddermen. Just to put it in, like a ladder against every single wall in every single location, and that that was what bothered me about the Ladderman and Stronghold too, more or less. Didn't mean I wanted to get rid of them entirely. I think they should have just made them like uh, fewer and higher quality kind of situation, right? But hopefully, hopefully this episode hasn't been too negative. 
He ran into some bugs. Maybe maybe people actually wanted to see me be negative because it's Stronghold 3 and everybody everybody sort of has expectations that Stronghold 3 is going to be really awful. And it isn't, to be honest. To, to be fair, maybe not to be honest. To be fair, it's not that bad. Uh, I, I guess when you just compare it to the games that came before it, they were less error prone and buggy like this. But it uh, looks like we've actually won. Victory. So that was a nice little mission. 45 minutes it took, give or take. And apparently we had about 60 minutes. Like Apparently one, one day equals one minute in this game. We used about... Oh wait, they count down 60. Yeah, it lasted about an hour because we were... About 75% of the time had already elapsed for us. So we didn't receive any score. Apparently, I took just barely too much time there, which is interesting. But I wasn't going for the score anyway. We were going for hard victory on hard difficulty. So there are the stats. We were going to show them mercy. We were going to show restraint where they had shown none. We hesitated where they would not. We couldn't allow them to escape. I charged Blackstaff with taking a force of our men and hunting them down. He marched away, eastwards. I went south to take back that which we had lost, to stop the Jackal before he could ruin our lands more than we already had. Okay, so that pretty much completes mission number 10, Vermin's Nest. Thank you very much for watching as always, and I hope to see you next time.